Well, it's that time of year when most people fall victim to a cold or a flu. But before you reach for the latest over-the-counter remedy in your medicine cabinet, our next guest insists you should head to the kitchen instead. And here to show us what foods can bolster your immune system and prevent you from getting sick is registered dietitian Nicole Osinga. Nicole, nice Hi, to see you and happy new year. Thanks for having me. Happy new year. Yeah, so I mean, it's no surprise that what we eat can play a role in developing sickness or not, right? Um, so today I want to go over those specific nutrients that have those healing properties. Um, but I also want you two to guess if we can get enough of that nutrient through food or if we have to supplement. Ooh, See, I was okay. about to ask you that question. If yeah. we're eating properly, do we need to be, because people are just gobbling vitamin C by exactly. the handful. Exactly. Right? Yeah, so it yeah. depends. So we'll go okay. through that today. Perfect. So, yeah, so the first one we have here is garlic. And actually, the active component in garlic is called allicin. And it has antibacterial properties. So I want you two to guess. Do we need to supplement with garlic or can we actually just rely on garlic itself? I will guess that you will need a supplement. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm going to go the other way because I figure, you know, there's garlic in hummus, there's garlic in your cooking all the time. You're mm. getting enough garlic. But perhaps. is it enough? <laughs> yeah. So we actually, um, we can just rely on real garlic because it's actually more bioavailable versus in the supplement form. Oh. Yeah, so good guess. Okay. Yeah, the next one we have here is uh, vitamin A, which is found in sweet potato. Vitamin A can help our immune system and can actually play a role in ma maintaining the health of our mucosal surfaces. So do we need to supplement with vitamin A or can we rely on food to get vitamin A? I, I think. think you can rely on the food. Yeah. Mm. See, I'm going supplement this time. <laughs> <laughs> split. <laughs> yeah, so Carolyn actually takes this one. Okay. So you can actually rely on food. And actually, one medium sweet potato contains more than twice the amount of vitamin A we need in a day, which is great. Um, and actually, adding a sweet potato to your meal can lower the glycemic index. And I actually always choose American sweet potatoes because the growing season in Canada is so short. So American sweet potatoes are actually a lot fresher. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Th this is having a moment right here. <laughs> next one, turmeric. Everybody's talking about that. Yeah, yeah. So so right here, I made a, a turmeric yogurt parfait kind of thing. So yeah, so turmeric has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties, which can reduce inflammation that can lead to chronic disease and joint pain. Mm -hmm. So what do you two think? Do we need a supplement with turmeric or do we have to, or can we rely on it in our okay, cooking? Okay, I'm going supplement here because I just don't think that there's enough turmeric in people's diets. Okay. I'm going to go the opposite. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, we actually do need to supplement with turmeric because, you know, we need at least 500 milligrams of turmeric to get those anti-inflammatory um, components. So there's, not, there's just not enough in cooking. So we do need to supplement. I really like this uh, supplement, um, Well Told Health. Um, it's made with no synthetics, um, no additives, and from real whole foods, which is great. And there's actually 500 milligrams of turmeric in one capsule. That's a lot more than we get in our cooking, so. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. And next dish. Yeah, so this one is vitamin C. Um, so like you said, Jeff, you know, everyone is supplementing with vitamin C. So do we need to supplement with that, or can we rely on vitamin C through our food sources? This is a tough one. <laughs> it is a tough one. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say you could get it through your food, but a lot of us don't, particularly in the winter months, so we mm -hmm. do supplement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say no, just because I peeked and I see additional stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you looked ahead, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so the research around vitamin C supplements actually is sort of inconclusive. Um, a lot of people pop those pills when they get a cold, but you know there's not really a whole lot of benefits. So, but research shows if we adequate, if we get enough vitamin C in our diet consistently. That's good. It's going to reduce the severity of our cold symptoms. What is the number one source of vitamin C if people want to consume it Yeah, naturally? so actually a lot of us think of oranges, right? right? Um, but vitamin C is actually found in kiwis, red peppers, which I have here, a lot of green leafy vegetables. So this dish right here actually has 100% of your vitamin C needs in a day. So other than oranges, there's some other foods. Can I ask, I also really love uh, vitamin C chewables. Oh, they're delicious. They taste like But <laughs> I, I know. I, I, yeah. I always wonder, though, is I, I probably be better with not a chewable, less sugar, and it goes to my, it gets in my system quicker? Pro probably. Or, or just real food. Or just real food. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And real food will do in a pinch. Yes. yes. <laughs> the last one we have here is omega-3s. Um, so omega-3s, we know it's anti-inflammatory and can actually increase the activity of our white blood cells, which fight harmful bacteria. So do we need a supplement with omega-3s, or can we rely on our food sources? Mm. I think that there's a lot of omega-3s in a lot of different foods. I'm going to go eat the food. No, I'm gonna. I, <laughs> I I I think we can get in the food, but I I know a lot of people supplement. You're right. Yeah. So typically in our diet, we don't get enough omega threes. Um. So I actually do recommend supplementing with omega three fatty acids. Here I have krill oil, which is actually a highly bioavailable form of omega threes. Um. So you're right, Jeff. A lot of foods do have omega threes, but we just don't eat them. 
Okay. So we, we need to supplement it with omega 3s. So. Yeah, I just wish I had a monitor every time something went in my body. I, I could go, it could go. Oh, look at that! The vitamin A is just yeah. coming off. I could take a yeah. toll. You got yeah. the proper levels. That's right. So, yeah. when is the last time Nicole has been sick? Have you been? You know what? Yeah. About a week ago. Oh, so really? I'm not okay. some superhuman that's immune to getting sick. Yeah. So we all do need to incorporate these foods and nutrients in our diet. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nicole. All right. Thanks for having me, guys.